this game sound there we go if anybody's watching here let me know if you can hear and see this game magic the gathering Wait a minute, let me fix something here quick. Hmm, I guess that's how it's gonna look. I'm a rookie at this game. I never played Magic on I never played the actual card game, the paper game, live people or anything like that. So I'm just learning the game online. Played some matches now and I understand most of the rules but I still mess up a lot. So the game has a lot of weird things that the cards can do. It's pretty cool though. Cards can actually do a lot of stuff. But the one thing that I was surprised about in this game is that you know, Magic is like the godfather of fantasy card games compared to Hearthstone and Elder Scrolls uh, Legends and all the other games that I've played. I always hear people say like, oh, hurt about Hearthstone especially. The game has so much RNG, you no know, luck. And they bash on the game for that. I don't play Hearthstone lately. I haven't played it in a while. But I know what they're talking about. Cards that say like, do damage split up uh, to seven damage split up randomly could hit your guy the other guy the hero whatever so there's a lot of weird crazy cards replace your whole deck blah 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 but in magic I thought I'd expected no luck then because they always like hearing people that play magic and even though I never played they acted like it was such a in-depth strategic thing and it is once you have cards that you can play but something that's funny about this game is you have to actually draw lands, like your mana. Your mana pool doesn't come to you every turn like a lot of other games. You need to draw them. So some of these games, even if you're the, the better player or more skilled player or whatever you want to call it in these card games, like you, if you don't draw lands, mana, like I've seen like 20, 30, maybe even more percentage, 40% of games some days that I've been playing, I just lose because I didn't draw mana and the other guy did. Or I've won because of that. So it's very luck based just right off the bat to even be able to play. To get your mana enough to be able to play. Let's start playing. Here's a quest system down here. I already have done some of this stuff. It says if I play 30 lands, there's the lands right there today. I'll get a deck. So that's pretty cool. A blue black deck. If I win 5 games, 4 more games to go, I get a free pack, card pack, and this is all gold. The gold you can uh, buy packs. It's a thousand gold per pack. That's just by playing, and then this is like in game money. You have to buy it. Like all games, you can buy the packs for real money or just earn them. You can make decks in here. It's kind of cool. They have them in a box. You can choose the artwork. They gave me a lot of these for doing the story mode, the tutorial. And you can choose your avatar thing to represent you. A lot of Apologies for the smell. I've been recruiting. I know, I know. I am hot, aren't I? Our kinship ensures our victory. It's kind of cool. They have all these guys talking and stuff. Prepare to burn. No friend of mine fights alone. This game's still in beta. And they've added a lot of this cool stuff. The UI is pretty cool now. So I'm gonna get into a game. Just free play. Just because I'm learning here. This deck right here I earned like this one. For playing the other day and learning how it works.
But the cards, the animations are pretty cool. <coughs> the artwork is really nice in this game. The, the artwork on the cards is nice. They tried to make it arcadey looking like Hearthstone, but keep all the depth of magic. You see right here, this is how this game works. Is You want to draw a lot of these mana cards, or they call them lands in this game, to be able to play your cards. And if you mulligan in this game, if I press this, it'll pop up and um, all of the cards are replaced. Hearthstone and other games you get to choose, like I only want to take away one or two or three. Here, it's like all the cards are replaced. And if I choose that, you see up here it says I'd only get six new cards. So I'll get six cards, it could give me no mana even. So that this is the part of the game where there's a lot of luck right here, right to start. Because remember, if you don't have any of these... You're supposed to put 23, 25, whatever, like that amount of, of these things into your deck. And I put them in, but you see I only got two to start out. And I think people say you want at least three, but I'm going to keep it just like this. Because a lot of times I'll press mulligan and it'll give me one, and then you lose a card. And you look here, you can see I need one red land plus two of any lands to play this card. So three total. This one's one and one red and one of whatever this one only takes one green so then i play the green land and then i can it lights up the ones you can play i'll play this one and then this card it has an ability on it where it can give me it an extra land it says by tapping it so i sacrifice being able to attack if i do that Let's see who I want to bring out. This card says deal 2 damage to any target. So I could kill that guy if I bring this out, the red one. So I'll cast this spell. Choose if you want it to hit. Blast it. Now I'm not going to bring this card out because the more you have, you see it has an X in the front. The more mana, the more lands you have out, the bigger that card is when it comes out. So I'll wait and just attack him. This one card. And then you have to press end turn. Because I could still play this after I attack. This game has like five turns. One, two, three, like five different uh, phases to your turn. Like before you attack, during your attack, after your attack, this and that, and the other thing. This is to deal damage. And there's a special thing on these on this deck called a kicker. Where you can play the card normally, or if you have a lot of extra mana, you can get a special ability out of the card. In the Elder Scrolls game it was called Exalted. Where the card has its regular ability, and if you have extra mana, you get its special ability. I think I'm just gonna play this card just how it is. That can only attack. That can attack the person. This can only attack creatures. I'll play this card just straight up. Is if I had extra mana, I need four plus two. I need six. So I can't do it. I just have to play it regularly. Now I can attack again for one damage. If you attack, your card turns to the side like that. And that means if he had cards out, I wouldn't be able to block with it. All cards in this magic game, all cards are able to block. All their card games have things called guards or, you know, cards that specify that they're blockers. Here, any card that you put on the, on the board here, you can block with it. So that's another thing, another difference in this game to, to other card games that I've played. This card has trample bring this one out see this guy so far he has four lands so he must I don't know he must have either a mixture of cards in there and he doesn't have the right color of lands to play or he's gonna bring some big stuff out when he does play so I'm gonna keep attacking him as much as I can before he brings something big out and I end my turn you hit space bar I'm still like a really new player to this 
So I'm learning as I go. A lot of the times I won't play the the card properly. I won't understand it. <clears throat> Some of them have a, two paragraphs on the card. So it's just kind of cool though. Just have to play and learn. So you played a 3-4. I can kill it already with this. This does 5 damage. This guy could come out. He, he requires 3, 4, 5 lands and I have 4 out. I could tap this card to get the 5th one and I'd be able to play this. But I think I'm just going to kill that straight up with this right here. Deal 5 damage and kill it. Keep my advantage on the board. And let's attack him with all 3. Keep attacking him. And then end my turn again. He's gonna play something else, probably bigger even. He has six lands out. Yeah, flying, that's another thing in this game. If a creature's flying like that, none of my creatures can well when he attacks me, I can't block him unless I have a flying creature or a card that says Specifically that it can reach flying creatures like spiders I've learned can do it and some other cards So flying creatures are really valuable in this game On the attack they're awesome they can block me My land creatures but I can't block them flying so I need to kill it with this with a spell It has 4 health so I can do the same thing again And just keep stopping him from playing by blasting with spells Then I'm gonna hit him again thought through your mind He's probably getting mad that I keep killing each one of his guys. There's a deck they give you just for playing, and you see it's pretty cool. It has spells to knock him out. He paralyzed my guy with that. So now I go like this, though. And remember, I had this guy that said if I had three. You can see these cards bigger like this. You see in the upper right? That takes four lands, four mana. One has to be red. And it says down here, kicker. That means. A bonus ability I need one more uh, land which I have enough now I have like one two three I have five this requires five it says it's, if it wasn't kicked if I didn't kick this card and have this it dies after one play and what's cool about this card is haste it can attack on its first turn when you play it and trample even if they block it it deals damage through the the blocker the difference between the defender and it so now I'm going to bring this guy out, and I'm going to kick it right here, because I have enough mana. Hit him with that. That hit him because of this card. It says whenever I kick a card, it deals damage, even though they paralyze them when you can't play. And now these three cards get to attack. Now he's really in trouble, because he has two, two health. And I have this card that does three damage, so I'll kill him next turn. Unless he does some miracle. I don't know how many miracles exist in this game, but I've seen some players already kick my ass. But I don't think he can get away from this. Do I have a spell? He gave up. So I won. See, I'm new. I'm really new at this game. Like, ranked up, I think, twice now. Or, let me see, four. Yeah, I think I started at bronze tier 4, so I'm ranked up twice in the last couple of days learning it. I played in the event they had last last week. And I earned 250 gold right there. It takes 1000 for a pack. Claim. I really want to get this to check the deck out. Because you can see right there, that deck that I just got. I mean, the game I just played. It's a free deck and it's pretty nice. I'm new and it's an easy deck to win with, at least against the people I'm playing against. I lose a lot, but right there I won flawlessly, you know what I'm saying? A lot of card games, that doesn't happen, where you can just totally... He didn't even get to hit me. He never even got to attempt to hit me, and that happens a lot in this game. Like, the, the game is very strategic, but there's a lot of luck as to where if you can play or not like right there he couldn't do anything I'm guessing like no matter what he did he wasn't gonna be able to play my deck countered his I only started with two mana like this and I kept it 
So I think I'm gonna keep it again. It worked last time with only two lands in my hand. He has black cards. Look, he can already make me discard a card. It said, didn't it? He already made me throw this card away. Huh. That was an awesome card that I had. This was a card they call a planeswalker, which is like a it's kind of like it goes off to the side over here when you play it and it uh it's an awesome card it's like a, it would be like a party member kind of you can do special abilities let's say you're if this was like an rpg that would be like you have a helper with you you can see it here it has some awesome abilities it can do once you play it he took that card away from me already on turn one He has a 1-1. One, one. He lost one life and he drew a card when he played it. So he has like vampire undead stuff. I'm not even familiar with a lot of what it can really do, but <clears throat> I know it already took a card away from me. This land seems this interesting. I'm just gonna play it. And now if I attack, he'll block and kill this card. So I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna attack. Cause I like this. This card gives me one extra mana. I can use it for that instead of attacking with it. I don't know what he did there. If he sacrifices that, target player discard he can make me discard a card again. Jesus Christ. They make me do that. Look, I already have to discard something. God damn. That's a pain in the ass. You see this? Like that this game has some crazy stuff in it. I already had discarded one. I think I have to discard at least one more, if not two. What the hell am I gonna get rid of? This card's valuable. All these cards that I have are valuable. Son of a bitch. Lands you're probably not supposed to get rid of, but I'm just gonna do it. I don't know. I don't wanna get rid of any of these. If I play this, I think I could play this guy, yeah. I'm just gonna play him now. Regularly. Let's get some cards out there before he makes me throw them all away. See, I was able to play this card because I tapped this card. I used its ability and it gave me one extra mana. I'm just explaining all this because just in case anyone ever watches this that's new like I am. I can look what happened here. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player loses three life and as they sacrifice a non-land permanent. Huh. I'm just gonna put lose three life. I'm not getting rid of my cards yet. I mean, I'm not getting rid of shit. I'm gonna kill that guy. I don't want to block him. I mean, I don't want him to kill this, and I want to hit him. First, this is the land. Wait a minute. Draw my card first of all. To kick it, it's three, four, five, it's too many. I'm just gonna play a land right here. That's one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. I need six to use that. I'm gonna use this and kill this guy. And then, I'm gonna attack him. Um, or should I bring this thing out just in case? Just to have it. I'm gonna play it anyway. Regularly. And now these dudes are gonna attack. Start doing some damage. Now I have this guy here to block. If he had haste or something. Let's see what he has. I'm running out of cards though. You may search your library for a land, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. 
He revealed this. He put it in his hand and they they let you see that. I'm gonna lose life again. Since I'm ahead, I'm gonna just do that. I draw a card. I got lightning strike again. I'm gonna kill that thing. And then I'm gonna attack with all three. I probably should have used this. But I'm thinking he's going to bring something big out and I'll need 5 to kill it. At least 5 damage. See what he can do. If he doesn't do something right now, I can kill him with this 5 and any of these. Dude, what is this? I'll die like every time? What the fuck is going on, bro? I let him take all my life away. Resolve. Discard a card. Now I draw. I have two life, you see, from what he did there. I have one, two, three, four lands. So look what he gave up. So you see that guy? He had some ability that said... If I have to either discard a card or I lose three life every time. I just chose to lose life every time to keep my cards on the board since he had nothing to defend. So I win again. But that's nuts. Like, stuff like that's crazy. Made me give up a bunch of life. A hundred gold. These quests reappear like every. What is that? Six hours from now? I'll get another quest there. I'm about to get that one done. This one, not yet. I'm about to get this. Two more wins. And that's the one that I'm after today. Let's I only have one land here, and it's red, but I like these cards that I have. See, this is the problem with this. I have a bunch of cool cards. Watch, I put Mulligan, let's see what happens. I'll start with one less card, and let's see if it gives land. Sometimes it won't give you even any lands. Look, see what I'm saying? It still left me with one land. So if I did it again and again and again, you lose cards. And it changed me to cards that aren't as good, too. Well, I got two lands, I guess, so it's a little better. Drag cards to put them on top. Shock. I'll keep that. So I'll play this. I always have this card at the beginning, it seems, which is awesome. She, she gives you one extra mana. Her land. And this guy's black again. Look at that. I don't think that killed it. And now I have no red lands. And look, all my cards are red. In this game, I might be in trouble. Well, he's off to a good start. I can't play for the first time oh, today. First two games, I was able to play every turn. You see, this game isn't as... Like, even though it's a deep game, the cards do awesome stuff. I think it's less strategic, kind of, than... Even up than like Elder Scrolls Legends because there's not a lot of back and forth on the board. The, the trouble is to get your cards on board is hard. So I can kill that card with this. Four damage to any target. Deal two damage to any target. That could kill him. That flyer. Death. Enter the field. What's this card say? Linked. 
Lifelink. So that buffs him. Doesn't it kill that? In the next turn, I could kill four, five, two. That's all I have right now are spells. I don't have any creatures. So I'm gonna get hit a bunch. Just start out. Jesus, that those black that card is crazy. How much life you can steal and cards you can steal. Take him out with this. The card effects are pretty nice, man. I mean, I could hit him for four, but I'm saving it. I like how I like the artwork on the special effects, but one thing I wish is that all the cards talked when you played them on the board, but they don't. The ones that I looked uh, like him right now when he plays, he should say something. It makes it even more fun to see the character behind the cards. Like everyone. I haven't played the card game, the paper game, but most of these guys have probably been playing this game a lot of years. I'm gonna kill him right away. And it's, I think it's awesome they'd be able to hear all the cards talk and stuff. The Planeswalker, the special card that I sh was looking at earlier. Those do talk and that's awesome, so I don't know if they want to just make it so that Planeswalkers and the best of the best cards talk and the, the commons and rares don't. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. But I wish all of them talked anyway. Like this guy, Vicious Conquistador, what would he sound like? I want to hear it. I can't do anything. I'm not gonna waste that card on that because it's only a two health card. It's my turn. Still can't play. This says kicker. Search your library for basic land card, put it in your battlefield, then shuffle your library. If this spell is kick, search your library for two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield. Damn, dude. I don't know what to do with this. Kick it. I can search two cards, two land cards. It's asking him if he wants to counter and kill that spell off if, if he has something in his hand to do it. I guess he didn't have anything. There's really nothing I can do, get one of each. Red and a green. I have all lands, but I don't have any creatures this time. Some games like this, look. I was talking about the reverse when you have no lands. But this game I have all the man, all the lands I need. But I have nothing to play. So it goes both ways in this game a lot. You can see it's not like he's deciding a lot which guy to hit. It's just he has guys out and I don't, and there's nothing I've been able to do to even play anything. Two damage to target creature. If this pose kick, deal four, but I don't I only need the two. There's no point to kick it, it's, it's gonna die with two. Let's see if you can counter it. Nope. So his creature's dead. I can't attack again. So I end my turn hitting spacebar. Let him play that. If I don't get a creature or anything else on, I can at least kill that. Attack. Block. No, I should have probably killed that right then. But look, it doesn't matter anyway. Another land, how amazing. See what I'm saying? Like how much ring is involved in this match so far. Where I've drawn four, seven, eight, nine lands now. And I've only had one creature the entire game. And this is a pre-built deck that they gave me. So it's not like I didn't build a bad deck or anything. Oh, 
I'm gonna divide it here. And now I can put three damage there and seven here. What, let me see what's this card look like. Yeah, there we go. I'll do seven damage to him, three damage to the card, unless he can block it. See, that's awesome. The kicker on this was if you pay an extra six mana, you can do ten damage, divide it up however you want. So I'll be able to do something to him there. And I got another spell. Which is just shock. I'm saving it because I don't know what he's going to bring out. I'm not going to waste it. But as you can see, it's crazy. Look. Like none of us are doing anything. My turn again now. I have another spell. This is crazy now. I guess I'll use this. Saving it again. I have enough mana that I don't have to. Like, I could save up and use both of those cards easy, even if I have an, a card to play. But you see this game, I expected it to be, I like this game a lot, I already love playing this game. But I expected it to be like <coughs> some chess match, but it's more as like you're struggling to be able to play anything. I'm struggling to be able to play even a creature after about... I don't know how many turns is this, at least 12, 11, 12 turns. Alright, so he played that guy again. And I'm gonna kill it again. I'll use the kicker and it should kill him. 4 damage if he doesn't have a counter. So you see how well, this game is so far. He's been able to play some guys. He hit me for a while. Ooh, kicker. Let's see what this does. When this enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, which I can do, create Karox Bladewing, a legendary. Fo Ooh, this could be cool. Let's see how this. Lo let's see what this looks like. If I play this and kicker. See, I think it has a cool animation. Look at that. That's awesome right there. That dude flies up out of the card. I like that. That's what I want to see on these cards. Can he counter it? Kill it? No, he couldn't. So now I have two flying dragons, which is awesome. You can see the artwork is really pretty awesome in this game. Dungeons and Dragons style realistic creatures, not cartoony or anything. Old school stuff like Baldur's Gate and Western uh, old school PC RPGs. I like that. I have two cards. Combat turn. He probably has some way to kill him because he's been had saved these cards up a long time. This card is an instant card. I don't think I have any way to stop that. Combat attack. I don't have any way to attack him. Now next turn, hopefully if he can't kill this thing. I can finally do some damage. And since I'm a flying card, nope, I won't get to use it. He has to kill it. You see how this game goes? It's nuts. It's a lot of just. You struggle to find cards, and when I finally found it, hopefully I, I draw another one like that. He was able to, to destroy it. Nope, I, I get another land. That's what I need. So, what are we on? About turn 15 or something. I haven't even hit him. I haven't even had it. I haven't even. Ever, what, I haven't even been able to attempt to attack his his planeswalker, him, like to do damage to him. And it's about 15 turns in. That's so different than other card games. It's like the last few games I did that to the other guys. So I'm gonna kill this card. He won't be able to use his either. And if he has a counter, which I don't think he does. So my turn now. He doesn't get to do anything. And what do you know? It's another land. So I have 9, 11 lands out of the 23 or 25 in the deck. I have 11 of them and no creatures. Look, all spells. I had one creature. Where are the creatures? He. I don't even know. The this was the only creature I had. One. And I think there was a, fla a planeswalker that he. Oh no, this one at the beginning. 
Come on, give me something good. Give me some lucky roll, lucky thing. Nope. A spell. His turn. This is a crazy match. Let's go to my turn. Nope. This is more defense, so if he brings guys out, I'm just gonna blast them. When each opponent loses one life, okay. Bring him out, I'm gonna kill him right away of course. Look at this. More fire. Ooh. Vampires can't survive fire. My turn. I have to start drawing something. There we go. Bring him out. Then let's see if he could kill him. Yep. Then I'll kill that guy. Guess that's the way it's gonna keep going. He gotta land. I can't do shit. He's already gonna drain my life. I don't know if he could do it. I think he has to wait till next turn. So, my turn. Give me something, man. There we go. Kicker 3. If anyone was kicked, it enters the battlefield with 3 one ones. So I'm gonna kick him. See if he can destroy it. I think it'll start with this is a 5 5. And then this is going to go more. Vigilant. Vigilance means if I attack, I can still block the next turn. Because normally, if you attack, you can't block. This one can. He can trample through him. So, can I kick this? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How much do I have there? 3, 4, 5, 6. No. Fuck. I have to wait till next turn to play this how I want to play it. He can do at least 3 damage to me there. Oh, he's gonna kill it anyway. Jesus. I was hoping he brought another guy out so I could destroy him with this, but and turn. <sighs> this is a crazy match. Doesn't look like he's doing anything. He can't even attack. That guy has zero attack. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's trying to tap it. He's probably new, but I don't know. He's ranked higher than I am. I don't know what rank that is. It looks like some kind of crystal or diamond. My guy's bronze. So this dude's a lot better ranked than me, or at least somewhat better. Block. So he's going to make me lose one life, and he gains one life, right? Yeah. So I'm going to try to get rid of that soon. Alright, let's see what that thing is. He played that. And turn, my turn. Unbelievable. I just have to get rid of this. One, two, three. I gotta take all three. Him three. This card is only a one, so I need to hit it for one, three. This will be six. Seven, nine, ten damage total. So I should kill all these guys and do six damage to him. It's pretty awesome, that card. But it doesn't look good for me. I have nothing. Gives me a 1 1. Come on, man. Where's my planeswalkers or anything? Just don't have anything like that in here. Anything to beat them with. Any dinosaurs. I could actually attack him for once. Combat? Oh no, it's his turn. Block, my turn. Alright, there we go. This dude can come out, kick it, and he can attack right away. Maybe he can kill it right away. But I know I have a 
two more of those somewhere. So if he uses it on this one, he won't have any more cards. Let's see if he's gonna stop it. It's asking him what he wants to do, so that card has some kind of ability. There it is. You can kill this, that's fine. Because now he has no card. I can still attack him for one. Got a little bit closer to catching up to him in life. 13 to 9. Jesus, come on, don't let it be anything good. Give him a land. Since I already have like 20 lands. He probably has another spell to kill my guys. And what I have a land. I'll attack him again for one. Man, what a match. This is like the longest match I've had like this. I haven't played a lot. This is my longest match so far of just nobody being able to do anything. Really. Just countered each other. Look, look at this shit. Are you serious? Attack, attack. His turn. I'm catching up one by one, dude. I think all of his cards just kill my cards because he's just holding them. And if he played them right now, he'd probably win because I have nothing. I don't have any spells. I ran out of ways to kill him. There we go. See, look at that card. You gotta know what you're doing to play this card. Two damage to each opponent, and you gain two life. Create an XX Black Nightmare Horror Creature token where X is half of your life total. So five. Point five. Round it up to like six. It deals X damage to you. I don't even know what the hell this is. Cool effect by the card. What does it? What did it even do? I can't stop it. To do two damage to me. He gained two life. And did it do anything else? What is this? It just stays there and he gets to choose stuff? Enchantment Saga. So he used the bottom part. I as well kick it because I don't have really anything to do. I killed my own creature. See what I'm saying? About this game? Like how was I supposed to know that? Other games, if you don't have any creature on the other side and you play that, it would just let you see beforehand. Like, do you want to attack your own guy? I was thinking maybe I could attack. I should have known I can't attack that in, that thing. It's an enchantment, but I wanted to see what would happen. It killed my own card. Stuff like that, when you're new like me, it happens all the time. So I killed my one of my only guys that I had. Now he could probably kill this dude. That was stupid by me. I thought maybe I could attack. I don't know what I was thinking. But I'm about to die. This vampire is sucking my blood. This was a long match. And I can't gain life or anything. How many how many do I have there, bro? 12, 13, 14. Fourteen. I don't think I can play that. Thirteen I should have put. I forgot it. It counts the top green one there. Now it should work. It's a 13-13. If he can't remove that 13, I had a chance to win, but now he has some other shit out there. It might kill me. Okay, let's see here. This dude doesn't have trap or I would have won. He's going to be able to block, add one man of any color, sacrifice, create a 5 5 red dragon. I think I can play this. 
Now I think I could sacrifice it, but I don't think you could do it until your next turn. That sucks. I need to be able to block that. So I can put combat, attack. This dude can attack. He has to block him, and that guy will die if he blocks him. So he either has to cast a spell and kill it, or he has to give up his 7 7 token creature. And in this game, I don't take any damage for that. His guy should just die. Now it's a 20. This dude has 20 now. So like in other games, when you attack like that and they block you, you know how it is. Your character, your creature, would I would have had 7 damage to him. But in this game, it's not like that. See, I'm a 20-20 now. Like, I didn't lose anything. I win. He had to give up. After that long battle, he had me down to 2 health. I beat him. Nice. That was awesome. 600 gold again. I'm getting closer to my deck for free. I think I went 3 out of 3 today. <clears throat> Next match. My luck's eventually gonna run out because that game felt like I won by luck. It was a battle of attrition. I'm gonna keep this because I had like three lands. I had this card that I like to start with. His name is Battlemaster J versus Farticus Maximus. Play this, play this. The next turn I need three. I think I'll be able to play that. Or this. I'm not gonna play that yet. I'll play this. And I can play this. Because I use the mana from this card, so I love starting with it. Got a 3 4 Brontodon out. It brings out a 2 2. I'll play this land. I'll use this to kill him. And then I'll attack my two attackers. And I'm off to a nice start. I gave two beta keys to this game away. If I get any more, I'll give those out too. What do I need? More red out? I have one red. Any target of X is five or more. This spell can't be countered and the damage can't be prevented. Hmm. Can I do three? Guess I can do three. Blocks, it kills that one one. Embalm, it has some special ability that I didn't even read. I think it had a special ability right there. You can play it again or do something with it. You may play the embalm cost and exile this card from your graveyard to create a token. He has all these things you can bring back from the dead, I guess. Hmm. Huh. I think I can play that. No. His turn. 
Just setting up some guys on there to have some guys on board. And most can give bonus man. Then bring that back from the dead. Oh. That's a nice those effects are awesome. They need to keep adding stuff like that. Basic car. Two add one man of any color. I should be able to kick this. I'm gonna add one of those, one of these. And add more mana. Combat. No attackers. I'm gonna wait. This dude can come out. Fights another target creature. See, that's what I thought. It's a target. And last time it just attacked my own guy. It was bullcrap. This time, it's gonna come out. Gonna attack. Two, three, four. I'm gonna kill that then. If I attack, it'll kill my guy. I'm not gonna do it. Cause he in this game when I attack, he'd be able to block with both of these. Each one will take one damage from him, and each one will do one, and they'll all die, but I want to keep this character off. Whoa! See that shit right there? I wasn't expecting that. There's crazy spells like that, man. Fumigate. Destroy all creatures. You gain one life for each creature destroyed. Like just straight up, for only oh. five mana, he was able to kill everything. Son of a bitch! So I'm gonna, I can't believe that shit, bro. Seven. Fuck! I can't do anything. I just have to wait. I'm gonna bring one more guy out at least, and I could do a lot of damage at once. Just have to let that play. So now I might attack him. He has to decide if he's gonna attack. My turn. Alright, I'm gonna do it right now this card I'm gonna do this that's one two three four how much is that four seven eight nine ten it's eleven though shit submit one of them's gonna live He has two life, so two. He has three life, three. He has four life. Four, seven, eight, nine. We have him only one, ten. To kill all of them. See, look at this game, how weird that is. You, all these little lines going everywhere, it's pretty awesome. Waiting for him, I guess. What the hell is it waiting for? Pay seven? Or I don't have enough for this. Five shit. I don't think I could even do it. Why the fuck did it let me go through all that? <sighs> well, I guess I can't do anything then. Just gotta wait. Now he knows I can do that too. But why did it let me even attempt that if I don't have enough mana? See stuff like that, it should just say, like, hey, you can't do that, so don't even let me 
Like I didn't count it up right. I needed six. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I thought I had enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I was missing one mana. So I need one more mana. Oh god. It is nuts. This dude, this dude knows what he's doing. And I just haven't drawn anything to be able to compete so far. Look at this shit. The hell is he even doing? I don't know. All kinds of shit's going on. I guess all of them let him gain life. Life link, all these do life steal. He still hasn't attacked, man. Lock. I block one of them, that's about it. That's my turn. So I still only have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This requires six, seven, eight, nine. Can't do the kicking part. Let's just sit back and wait again. I need one mana. Guys, look at all this shit he has to play. Nuts. This is literally nuts. I don't even know what all this stuff does. And take my 5 5 guy out, so now he's just gonna rip me. It's combat time. He should attack me with pretty much everybody. That's what I do. I can block just that guy. Hmm, but odds are stacked heavily against me. Four damage to any target. So that thing. Unless you can call him. If you can, well. So his cats got weaker because of that. If I could play this. Which I could have if I didn't play the other one. Would have been nice, but I'm waiting patiently. He can do one, two, three, four, five damage. I still have 14 attack. I mean, life. So I'm not dead just yet. Next turn, I should be able to kill a lot of them. If I can make it. If he doesn't have some crazy combo, I don't know what all he can do. But he has two of my cards stolen over here. And then he killed a bunch with that atomic bomb he had. He's gonna take my man away now. My land. It's a surgery basic card. Uh, red I'll choose. I don't know what the hell that did. And it shuffles my library supposedly. It's like he took away a green or something. And shuffled my library, I guess. The 
Let's see what he can do. Uh oh. How this thing blocker. goes is up to you, pal. Meet my newest friend. He revealed that cat that I just killed. So, let's see. I have to block him. Lifelink. I'll just block any of these. Block him. One blocker. 40 health to 10, boy. Now, I'm gonna do this though. At least kill something. One. That's six. Seven, eight, nine. Wait, thirty-nine. Jesus. Six. Seven. Ten. Let's kill all those. Okay, oh, so you've got now we're getting worse. started. With that planeswalker, man, that sucks because I would have been able to kill all of these. But since he played that guy, next turn I could do it again, though. Luckily. I'm probably gonna lose, but I'm learning. That's good. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Look at this. This dude's gonna end up with 100 health. This game has some crazy stuff you could do. I beat the last three guys. This guy, I don't think I'm gonna beat him. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just kill all of them. That's Four damage to him, three and three, they got it right this time. So I can kill all that. He has Embalm and all this crap where he can bring his guys back to life. Look at all the cards that are like everywhere. That's like where the depth of this game shows. It's deep in how much stuff you can have going on. But the actual gameplay on the board is pretty much almost always one-sided as hell. Look at this, 50 to 5. Son of a bitch. What the fuck? Look at that. Look at all those cards. He's played a stack of cats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't even know if it's worth putting that. Three, he's three health, isn't he? Two, two, two. I could have put one, oh, whatever. Now what? Cancel, cancel. Three, two, two. Five, six, seven, eight. This was a long, grueling loss, but 
I was able to see how that deck works. That was crazy. A bunch of cats killed me, and look, I'm supposed to be a big cat. All right, I'm gonna go answer the door quick. I'll be right back. Did I at least earn my pack yet? Almost. 500 gold, not bad for a loss. It's nice. likely huh what do you got that's better to get it now it's good for him That's so cool. He needed that. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's start again. I want to finish this up. If I win, I should get this quest. I should get all my quests on today. I won three quick matches. But now, I lost one there. Masamoto, my opponent. If anybody's watching this, you can enter my giveaway at the bottom of the stream. I'm giving away a Steam game every week. I give one away on here, and you can also look, look at uh, join up Preferium, something that allows you to gain actual money. For watching my stream or any stream that is uh, a Refrain streamer, you earn money, make tokens, points, which turns into money. You can either buy a game straight up for it, Steam games, or you can save it and actually use it as money. So while you're viewing, you earn something. It's not always the streamers that are supposed to earn. The viewers get to get to earn something with Referium. You can check it out down there. Sign up to it. Go to the website. Read about it. They have a Discord where people explain how it all works. It's pretty simple. You just link your Steam, your Twitch account to Referium. Once you've signed up to Referium, and then when you watch streams, you earn points. You can convert the points. Why didn't I play it? What happened there? Nothing else I can really do, right? Oh. His turn. Thought I was saying it was my turn. But yeah, the Referium thing is awesome. I've been doing it for a few months now and I've earned all kinds of prizes, PayPal prizes for some events they had where they paid us cash. I want a shirt for playing Battlefield 5 Alpha. They've given us game keys, Battlefield keys, uh, and then I have a bunch of tokens, thousands and thousands of tokens. Each token's only worth a penny, but if you're if you're able to gain 5,000, 50,000, 200, 300,000 tokens, it adds up. And these tokens are a cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all that. So over time, if they gain traction and start moving up in price. You have those tokens saved up, you'll have a lot of money later on to, to, who knows, buy games, buy a new computer, if it actually gains, you know, if you earn a lot of these tokens and it grows up, if the price of the reframe goes up, you don't know what you'll be able to buy with it. It's free, so you might as well get in on it now. Not, not be another thing where, like Bitcoin and all of that, I never paid attention to it. 
if you would have bought it when it was new, we'd all have tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars for putting in a hundred dollars back in the day. Well, this is a chance with Referium, something that's in the gaming community, which all of us, if you're streaming or watching this, you're part of the gaming community, you love games, you need to get in on that. I think I can play this. Yes, I can. Need to get in on the referium, start earning. And later on, all of us that got in on it, we're going to be happy. Because I, I believe it's going to turn into something really big. So far, we did events with Epic Games for Fortnite. EA games for Battlefield, and now they're integrating it with League of Legends, Player Unknown Battlegrounds, and I hope to see it uh, get involved with card games like this that I love, and Elder Scrolls Legends, or any of those. So yeah, you can do that. Sign up to that, sign up to the giveaway, and that's about it. You can do the trivia that's on the side, and earn another free game if you if you get enough questions right. That's three things you can win on my stream, just for watching. I play all kinds of games on here. Card games lately, I've been playing the last week or so. But I played The Crew 2, played some uh, Battle Royale games, played uh, Dauntless, Sea of Thieves, Heroes of the Storm. Soon I'm going to be playing Monster Hunter. Coming up in about a week, I think it comes out already. Where are we? In the 30th? About a week and a half. Monster Hunter, on, Monster Hunter uh, World, I mean. Yep, let's see. And I win! I don't think I got all my quests done with that. So I won 4 out of 5 today. With this pre constructed deck that I won on the game. Yep, I got all my quests. Whoa, under control. I'm gonna check that deck out. And now if I win again, I win a card. And if I win five more this week, I get another pack. So I won one pack, right? Let's check it out. Rip it open. To review all these. See the art is awesome on on this game. Bristling more. That looks like a Conan uh, comic, the art on that one. Tells you the artist at the bottom, Brian Snotty. Snowy. Departed Deckhand. Color. And the special card is... An enchantment. Huh? I'm gonna play one more of this. And then we can, we can play that. I'm gonna play one more game of this because I wanna try the new deck I just won. In 10 minutes or 15. Please walk your control because I'm streaming this game. I'm gonna stream this game more since I'm new. Maybe new players can watch a noob like me. I was trying to read with this, does whenever every creature you control dies, you may sacrifice this card. If you do, create a 4 4 white avatar creature token with flying. When a spell or ability your opponent controls causes you to discard this card, you control a planes. Create a 4 4. Alright, so that, got that. I have some gold, all this was just from playing lately, pretty much. And I played around a little event where they gave us a bonus. And they gave me... what the hell did they give me just now? They gave me some deck I saw there. Look at all these decks. Here, they gave this to me. Under control. There's the card editor here. It's 60 sideboard. I think that's for when you play in rank. You can put cards in and out of your deck. So you like have backups there that you could put in here. 
See, all these cards they just gave me for free. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now we had to refer him to some other stuff to more exchange that. Look at that card. Psychic Symbiont. Symbiont? Symbiont? Drowned Catacomb. Submerged Boneyard. The only thing I know, I don't really know how to make any decks in this game yet. Just started playing it. So all I, I do is I go in here. I look for Planeswalker cards. Then I add them to the deck. This blue and black. So if I would need blue and black like this. That one's white and black. Blue and red. So I have these guys. I have one of each. I'll just throw them in. And then I'll have them in there. Because I know they're good. And then these are like the rarest. So I check and see what I have in there. Maybe I'll throw some in. 60 is probably like recommended to play. But I'll just add more because I'm a noob anyway and I want to put some of my better cards in. Each player loses a third of their life, this says. And it has death touch. Any amount of damage a creature with death touch deals so your creature is enough to destroy it. Let's put him in just to see. Seems like a crazy card. That's already in my deck. Demon of Dark Schemes and Demon. All other creatures get minus two minus two until the end of the turn. Pay all of this shit and put target creature card from a graveyard under the battlefield under your control tapped. From any graveyard? So you're like crazy. But he takes a lot to use. He, he takes five. These are all enchantments. Target player draws seven cards. For how much? It costs a lot though. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a token that's a copy of an of enchanted artifact. What? Then if you control eight or more artifacts, I don't know. That's too complicated. I don't really understand that card. A vehicle. These are neutral cards. I think I'm just gonna play like this just to play a match with that. And I'm not gonna mess with the deck too much and mess it up. I just put my planeswalkers in it. And I'm gonna choose the new deck. I never played it at all, so I'll probably mess up a lot. Let's see how it goes. After I play this match, I'm gonna. Uh, Switch, switch it to another game you can watch, and I'll probably put this run replay later on for anybody that didn't see it, wants to see me play this game a little bit. So all blue cards came out, and I got two blue lands, so that's good. I'll keep it. That's crazy, I have blue and black, and all blue came out except for one. This guy's probably playing the deck I was just playing. From that start, that's how I usually started. And I can draw a card scry. See scry, that thing I don't really know what that means. Like get rid of something. Scry one, draw a card. How does scry one mean? Drag cards to put them on the top or bottom of your diamond. So I get to look at the next card and it's a land. And I guess you could either decide to put it on the bottom of the deck or keep it there. And I'm just going to keep it there. Right? Scry one time. And then I get to draw that card in. Alright. So scry to look at your deck, top of your deck. It's a regular land. Put this in. Should have probably put this one in. How did I look at that? That deck man comes out quick. The deck I was using. Mm. Shit, for three, I could play this, but I can't do anything. 
I'll still have to play this, I guess. My deck's taking too long. Next play, I can play. I can do that and I can eliminate that card. So that's cool. This deck has stuff like that. Three. Another land. Tap target artifact creature land. I just messed up that current. It didn't really do anything for me. But I don't have anything to play, man. This deck is off spells. I'm in trouble. Dude, this is the thing I'm saying about this game where it's nuts. Like, what the hell is this? Guy didn't even get to play anything. That's weird. How the hell does this deck work? Is I, I just messed up and should have mulliganed? I guess. So I'm already pretty much lost. Six, seven damage you could do right away. And if he has a spell, which that deck has loaded with spells, he should be able to kill me already. I'm gonna play one more, I think. Because this is bull crap. I didn't even get to test this deck. Do I have anything? Counter target spell? He can't. Like, what can I do with this? If I tap him, he shouldn't be able to attack me, right? No. It's already too late. I'd do that before he played, I guess. Because of the block face. Man, I'm dead. Jesus, bro, I can't do shit. I lost. There was nothing I could do. I don't know. He's probably gonna blast that. He, he, he should have be loaded with fire spells. For what? What? I'm saying, why do you need speakers? The headset. Huh? You have wireless speakers for your phone. You get any of those wireless speakers you can plug in, and it makes it loud. Yeah, any of these wireless speakers, they charge, and even while they're plugged in, they still work. The Bluetooth speakers. I lost, damn you. Well, this deck failed for me, man. I want to play it one more time. I probably didn't play it right. But at the same time, it was lost spells that countered. Alright, one more time. Play that again, same time, second try. Let me get a 
train. Cola? What? A root beer. Well, I'm streaming this. It's a way. I don't know, man. I have two lands. I'm just keeping it. Because I have actual creatures. I'm too scared to get rid of them. Last game, it gave me no creatures. My mulligan, it might, might give me that crap again. That's the luck in this game. Like, the draw is so important. Compared to all other games, this game is super dependent on your opening draw. Blue, black. The hell was that? <clears throat> that enters the battlefield tap. I didn't read that. So that's doing. Huh? Oh, I know. I wonder if it's any good. It's a board game that looks kind of cool. Might get it. Huh? That board game though looks good. <clears throat> Search your library for basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. He took planes. I have this swamp. All I can do is play this dude. I can look at this. Put that there. I shouldn't even have done that. I need lands. I don't know why I did that, but... Last time... Fuck, why did I do that? Nobody knows why I did that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can earn card backs in this yet, but hopefully you have those. I got land. This has kicker. Destroy non legendary creature. To its owner. This is supposed to kick to draw a card. To kick it, you need four lands. I need the other one. No. I don't have enough. Nope. Still gonna do it though, regularly. Fuck it, I don't want him to get a lead on me. Let's make him play it again. While I bide my time. I already made one mistake where I got rid of a land. That's so one mistake. <coughs> I don't know if it'll cost me in the end. We're gonna see. Kill that. There's another land, but it comes in like that. I'm gonna wait. Two? I can't play anything else. Two? Like two of anything? No. That costs too much. Fuck. I need this land to be out. That was my mistake for not keeping the other land. What does he do? When he enters the battlefield, exile another target creature artifact. Okay, I can steal that guy. Steal that card. If I'm able to, I'm gonna steal that. This guy's doing all kinds of shit. 
off. Should be able to attack me here for two. Jesus, bro. Let me go. This guy is what? Flying or no? No. I want to just take that one. Or should I just kill this card? So you can't get it back. I'll just steal this one, I guess. When Josu Vess, Lich King Knight, enters the battlefield, it was kicked, create 8 to 2 black zombie knight. Wow, that motherfucker is dangerous as shit. Legend. He discards the card. First, I'm gonna do this. See, that's a cool animation. I steal that card. He's looking at what I did to him. Oh no, it's just highlighting it here. It were mana of any type to cast it. So I can play him. And I can get an artifact back. Did I have an artifact in here? I'm gonna play that. I can play his own card. Exile seven other cards or whatever. <laughs> Draw three cards. Which one said I could make him discard target opponent? That one then. As an attack on if he blocks it kills him, right? I can't block him anyway because he's flying. This game is pretty even. So far, all the games I played today, I, I either murdered them or they. they so I think I lost one. Or something, didn't I? Or did I lose two? I got murdered, I think, in one of them or two of them. But I won more than I lost. Four and four and two, I think. So he has two flying guys. I can bring this guy out. Enchant permanent. You control enchant permanent. What? Permanent. And permanent is legendary. What? The fuck is this? I don't even know what this does. Enchant permanent. And I can steal one of his cards with that, I think. Trying player puts the top three cards of the library into their graveyard. That's if I want to draw, draw. I think I want to play this though. Damn, that card looks crazy. See, some of these cards actually have animation. They're fucking awesome. Do I attack with him what he does? We block him with them and, and nope, just let him hit. I want him to die. 
Because when this guy dies, they steal him back, I think. Or they let him kill him with his own guys. Kill his own card. This shit should let me steal his card. Come on, he's catching up now. Oh, he beat me, passed me. He has menace. He doesn't have menace. I want to play this. It's six. I'm like that, I'm not getting enough mana. I'm scared to wait. Nine damage. He has two, five, six, seven, eight. He has nine. I think. I probably let some go through though and kill my best ones. So I'm waiting. Dude, this is the part about this game that's weird. Because anybody can block. It's so different. You don't know when to attack. Counter target creature spot. So if he plays someone now, I can destroy his card. He won't be able to play it. This right here. Essence scatter. I was gonna put another one back, so let that happen. I get to look for another one, right? Can I get to put it back again? He's indestructible, it says. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna kill that guy, I think. That's a 3-3. Three, three. Even though that one has flying, I'm not that scared of that. Yeah. Now what? Now, he has three... This dude has five. He could kill him if he blocks. All these guys block him. This dude's flying. They can't really block him. They have two, three, four. I gotta attack with both of these. From what I see, and you can't stop him. I don't think he could stop. Anything he could kill his guys by blocking the land one, but the aerial one also he have to kill him, kill us off. Is that he just let him go through? This deck I'm playing, he's gonna pull someone off of my deck, off of my thing, off of my board. I need two, I need one more land and I can steal one of his guys, I think. I can't block because he took my flying creature. I 
just decided to give up. A lot of players in this game also, it looks like they just give up easily compared to other games. They get frustrated. I'm new at this game and I just, I don't give up. I like to learn even if I'm losing, see what the, all the cards do. So I won a card, let's see what it is. Sky, uh, that looks cool. It's a guy flying on a man, uh, I was gonna say on a manatee. On a manta ray. The beginning combat. On your turn, you may pay one green and blue land. When you do, put a plus one plus one counter on another target creature you can draw. That creature gains. Ooh, that's cool. That's a cool card. Sky, and I like the art. Give me my prize. One more match. This deck. New trivia session has started in the chat. If you play that chat game, the trivia game in chat, and you rank up on my leaderboard, I give you a free Steam game. It's a lot of spells, one creature only. But that lets me draw cards, but it takes a while. <sighs> I can kill somebody, kill somebody. Just keep it. I just want to see what happens. And I probably am playing against that guy likes creature, I mean that green nature avatar. He probably is using that kicker deck that they give you. He's about my rank, looks like from his little, this ranking thing up here. Uh, yeah. Why does this take so much to play? When he enters, target opponent discards a card and you draw a card, that's why. It's a good Cool art on that. Look at that thing behind him. It's like the devil. Psychic symbiont. Put. I don't even know what this does, but I'm playing it now. I have to look at the first card on my deck. Put a landmark on the map. Then if there are three or more landmark counters on it, remove the counters, transform the map, and create three colorless treasure artifact tokens. With sacrifice this artifact, add one man of any color. The cards like that are different. This is what they have to fix on here. You say that, but he should talk. I guess that's like placeholder, because... Hello. Like it should say me something. Audio. I think a lot of Magic players are against all the animations, and, and the cards talking, and avatars talking, and all that. But I love all that. That's why it's a video game version. It should be very entertaining. The hell is this thing? Can't be countered, can't be blocked. That guy can mess me up. I'm just gonna kill him. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep that like that because I want that card. So he has one counter on him now. You want three on him? Then he can sacrifice and add one mana of any color. Add one mana of any color only? 
I don't know, but each one, so I'll be able to add a bunch of mana. That'll be good. This card's pretty good then, from what I can understand of it. Creature and target counter target spell target creature spell. Only you can see this card. It's hidden to your opponent. I want the land, so keep it. Now that's two counters. I need one more. And it should be able to give me land. I mean, permanent mana, I'm guessing. Let's see how it works pretty soon. And if that dude, if I play that, I'll have four mana. I could play this. And that's it. I'm going to play that. You can mute them if you don't like that little t talking, which is nothing. The backgrounds aren't really interactive, but they don't need to be. Like it has cool sound effects already. That I do wish these guys talked like it will when you click on them. If they don't like it, they can mute you. Because if you're playing a card game in person, you make an awesome play, you can say, well, you can talk to each other, you know, back and forth. It doesn't have to be trash talk. You can say, oh, nice play. I, I like hearing it. And if they do want to taunt you a little, that's cool as well. Let's do this. Shit, to kill that. Yup, you're going down. Play this. Can't play anything else, right? Just tapping this. Keep it. What? In what game? In that game? Let's gonna have this off. I can't hear anybody right now. Is it? Nobody was on. Wait for me to play. I'm gonna play that next. I'm gonna play this thing. He quit. I won. Like, I don't even know why that guy gave up. He was tired of waiting for me or something? Like, the people are weird in this game. They give up for no reason. I think he got pissed that I got that mana. No, I was gonna catch up. Well, I think that's all for right now of this game. I'm gonna play it again later on. So if you see me get back on this, jump in again. I don't know. You should go in Discord and tell them. Huh? So one is actually someone. I'm gonna get put my stream back to probably. Let's see what I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna switch. Go back to another game, and then I'll be back on Magic later on. And I'll probably replay this a little bit later, and then play, oh, I'll play live at the scene. What I'm gonna do? But I'm gonna take a break a little bit, and I'll be back. But I definitely like this game. I'm a noob at it, but 
I'm learning it. It's pretty cool, pretty interesting. And I like how they're making the game, the quality of the game. I I was actually in the alpha, but since I didn't know magic and it wasn't all put together yet, I didn't play much in the alpha, but I saw that the game wasn't that uh the art the the UI I mean was way lower quality. Uh the creatures didn't have any animations or any sounds. Now they've ramped it up big time. It's really nice. They're doing a good job on this game. I'm happy about this. Another card game to play. So let me let me see what I'm gonna put up on here. Before I get off, I'm gonna switch this to I might put on Elder Scrolls Legends for right now. I'm gonna switch it back to my Elder Scrolls Legends. You can see me playing that, and then I'll be back live after. Yeah, wait for me. I'm just going to switch here. Let me switch this out. The voice. Let's switch to Elder. to change the title of my stream. Here, that on, change the title to that, and I'm going to be right back. I'm going to stop this and start the other one up. 